Hey, what's going on? It's Mr. Garfield here, and I'm back with a CAPE Pure Mathematics Unit 2 video. All right, and I'm focusing on some of the questions that were given on the May June 2021 examination. All right, now this question, I believe, gave a lot of students difficulty. It says that show that the derivative of sine inverse of cosine x over 1 plus sine x with respect to x is negative one divided by the square root of one plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x, all right? So let us do this question here, all right? So I'm gonna write my solution here. Okay, now there's something that you need to note before we start, all right? So just, this is a note for you. If you want to differentiate, let's say you want d by dx, of sine inverse, so you want to differentiate the sine inverse of some function f of x with respect to x, that is going to be equal to the derivative of f of x, that's f prime of x, right, divided by, divided by the square root, right, divided by the square root of one minus the square of the function. That's one minus f of x all squared. Okay? That's something that you must know. So how do we apply this, this to the to the question now? All right, so what we want is to find the derivative with respect to x. So we want to differentiate sine inverse of cosine of x divided by one plus sine x, right? That's what was given to us in the question. So this is what we want to differentiate. So following the rule, we can say that this is going to be equal to the derivative of the function in the brackets here, that's cosine x over one plus sine x. So it means that we would, we would like to differentiate, we would like to differentiate the cosine x, divided by one plus sine x, right? And we want to divide that by the square root of one minus the square of the function. So that's one minus the cosine of x divided by one plus sine of x, all squared. Great. So all we have to do is just simplify this now, all right? So we are going to differentiate cosine x over one plus sine x using the quotient rule, okay? So it means that my u is going to be cosine x and my v is going to be one plus sine x, all right? So following the, co the quotient rule, it says that I'm going to have v first, that's one plus sine x, all right? So v times the derivative of u, u is cosine x, okay? Minus u, which is the numerator cosine x times the derivative of v. All right, that's the expression in the denominator, which is one plus sine x. Right? And I'm now going to divide all of this by the denominator squared, right? That's one plus sine of x r squared. Good. But remember that we are also dividing this by what? So we're also dividing all of that by the square root of one minus the square of cosine x over one plus sine x. Now, when you square a fraction, it means that you're squaring the numerator and denominator, right? So it means that I will have one minus cos squared x divided by one plus sine x all squared. Good. And that is what we have. Let us now continue simplifying. This is now going to be equal to one plus sine x multiplied by the derivative of cosine x is going to be negative sine x, right? So I'm just going to put the negative sine x in front. All right. 
I'm just going to put the negative sine x in front. That's negative sine x multiplied by the 1 plus sine x on the outside there. All right. Minus, when we differentiate 1 with respect to x, we get 0. When we differentiate sine x with respect to x, we get cosine x. So what we really have here is cosine x multiplied by cosine x, which is going to be, give me a cosine squared x. All right. And I'm dividing that. By what? I'm now going to divide that by 1 plus sine of x all squared. Great. Now, as it relates to the expression under the square root, let us just combine the two terms there. All right, so 1 minus cosine squared x over 1 plus sine x all squared can be written as what? So we're going to have our square root, and in the denominator, I'm going to have 1 plus sine of x all squared, and in the numerator, I'm going to have 1 plus sine of x all squared minus cos squared x. Okay? That's what I will have on the root. Great. Just continue here. Now, just look. Here for a minute. For the expression cosine squared x, right? You should know that cos squared x can be written as 1 minus sine squared x from the Pythagorean identities, right? And I could also factorize this expression. 1 minus sine squared x can be written as 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x. Right, using the difference of squares rule. Now you might be wondering why I am doing that, but I'm going to show you in a minute why. All right, so I'm just going to replace cosine squared x with its factored form, 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x. Okay? This is going to be equal to negative sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x and then minus, replacing cosine squared x now as 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x. Okay, great. And I'm now going to divide all of that by 1 plus sine x all squared. Excellent. Now, as it relates to the root, remember now that when you, when you take the square root of a fraction, all right, let me put it in red here. When you take the square root of a fraction, so you say you want the square root of a divided by b, then that can be written as the square root of a divided by the square root of b, right? So it means that I can say that this is going to be equal to the square root of the numerator, which is 1 plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x, divided by the square root of 1 plus sine, sine of x all squared. Now, when you take the square root of 1 plus sine of x all squared, it simplifies to 1 plus sine x. All right? So let me just write that down for you. Okay? So I'm now going to divide all of this. All right? I'm going to take the square root of the numerator. That's the square root of 1 plus sine of x all squared minus cos squared x. Okay, and I'm going to divide that. Now let's go back a bit here. I'm now going to divide that by the square root, the square root of the denominator, which is 1 plus sine of x all squared. All right, and as said previously, when I take that square root, I'm just going to get 1 plus sine x. Right? Good. That's what I will get. Great. Now, since I have this now, I can now simplify even further. Right? I can simplify even further. So, what we really have here is one fraction divided by another fraction. Right? And of course, we know that when we're dividing two fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. All right, so we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So I can now say 
that this is going to be equal to we're going to have negative sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine x minus 1 minus sine x times 1 plus sine x, right? And I'm going to divide all of that by 1 plus sine of x all squared, okay? And I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the, the fraction in the denominator. So when I take the reciprocal, I'm going to have 1 plus sine x in the numerator, okay? I'm going to have 1 plus sine x available in the numerator. And in the denominator, I'm going to have the square root of 1 plus sine of x all squared minus cosine squared x. Excellent. Now, what do you recognize here now? I can cancel, right? So I can cancel one of the sine, one of the one plus sine x. Okay. So that leaves me with a one plus sine x here in the denominator. Okay. Now, this is the reason why I factored the cosine squared x into its factored form as one plus sine x multiplied by one plus sine x, right? One plus sine x multiplied by one minus sine x. Because I can now say that this is going to be equal to negative sine x multiplied by one plus sine x divided by one plus sine x minus one minus sine x multiplied by one plus sine x divided by one plus sine x Okay, and I'm multiplying all of this by what is on the outside, which is one divided by the square root, one divided by the square root of one plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x. Okay, because now you recognize that I can cancel out one plus sine x here and one plus sine x here, right? All I did here was just to separate this fraction here, right? I just separate that into separate fractions, okay? Rewrite it into separate fractions and then cancel, all right? So you recognize that I can cancel out some terms and I can now say that this is gonna be simplified as negative sine x minus one minus sine x Okay, and I'm multiplying all of that by one over the square root of one plus sine of x all squared minus cosine squared x. Now, when I multiply negative sine x minus one minus sine x by one, that's in the numerator here, I will get back negative sine x minus one minus sine x. Okay, and in the denominator now, in the denominator, what I'm going to have is the square root of 1 plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x. Okay? That's what I'm going to have. Great. Let us now simplify even further. So I can now say that this is going to be equal to, by expanding the brackets in the numerator, I will get negative sine x, negative there's actually a negative one here on the outside, right? So negative one multiplied by one is going to give me a negative one. And the negative one multiplied by the negative sine x will give me a positive sine x. Okay? And I'm dividing that by the square root of one plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x. All right? So what do you recognize here now? I have negative sine x and I have a positive sine x, so those two will cancel out. And it, this will now simplify to what? It will now simplify to, I will have negative one in the numerator and in the denominator, I'm gonna have the square root of one plus sine x all squared minus cosine squared x, okay? 
And we'll just look back at the question. It says to show that when we differentiate this, we get negative one divided by the square root of one plus sine x r squared minus cosine squared x. And that is indeed what we got, right? So it means that I can now come down here and say shown. All right, shown. Okay. So we have now shown that result. And I can now say that this is the end of the solution. Okay. So I hope that this question didn't pose a lot of difficulty for you. Okay. So if this video has helped you in any way, please ensure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.